All right, welcome back, good people. On this video, I want to talk about funnels again, just, you know, real quickly, because funnels are so important in the creation of an online business right now, because the old model of having your website and all that is kind of, you know, going to the side. It's really kind of outdated. It's, it's basically setting up funnels that will allow you to start and grow a business you know, relatively quick. And when you create a funnel, the major thing you want to be is consistent. That is it. You want to be consistent. So in this video, I'm titling this video, what does being consistent mean with your funnel? Okay. So there are three areas that consistency will be important in your funnel. But first, let me say this. Consistency is important in a subconscious kind of way, in a subconsciously providing a uniform experience kind of way. Think about that now. When I say consistency, I'm not talking about day in and day out, day in and day out. What I'm talking about with the funnel is consistency in the mindset of the user, the person who is experiencing going into the funnel, right? So think about it from that perspective. You want your background to be the same. Like when you watch this video, the background, uh, everything is normally the same. Now I'm going to be different with what I'm dressed in, but the background is going to be consistent. That's the kind of consistency I'm talking about with this video. So that you see your eye picks up the same thing. And subconsciously, uh, when that doesn't happen, it makes you kind of crazy. <laughs> you know, it makes you kind of like, wait a minute. Now, this is the same person I was talking to, but uh, that don't look the, like the same background. That's what your mind is saying. But, you know, you're still watching and you're still listening. I'm hearing a voice, but that's not the same background. That type of consistency is noticed in a subconscious way when you're dealing with people. <laughs> And you know that because you've experienced it. Now, I'm going to uh, give, give you a few other things that they talked about in reference to uh, being consistent. And it's uh, the consistency of the image if you're using a picture, right? If you're using a picture, you also want that image to be consistent. Let's say you're using that image on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Twitter, and on YouTube. Let's say your channel has that same image. When a person goes to that channel, they will know that's you because I've seen it before. I, that's, that's the same image on this other on, the, on this other platforms, right? So you want to be consistent with those, especially once you start to grow your system on another level because you want people's experience to be, um, uh, you want to kind of control that experience. And you can kind of control that experience with consistency, you really, really can. It may, it may seem like to you that, you know, I want to use this and I want to use that, I want to use this and I want to use that. Yeah, I understand that. But for the ease of the consistency, if it's same, the sameness as much as possible, it has a better effect. And uh, finally, the third method of the consistency is using similarly framed videos. Like when I create these videos, your mind is pretty much always in this area where I am right here. I don't, I'm not over there talking. I'm not over there talking. So you can kind of focus automatically where I'm going to be. And for me creating 200 videos, uh, if I was over here today or over there tomorrow, up there, uh, that would be like, you know, I don't know what to expect from this guy today. You know, so it would take away from <clears throat> the effectiveness that I'm trying to uh, express. And you know, kind of tie the professionalism too, probably. It just depends on how it's done. But you want to be, you want to do it your way. Just, just do it your way. And whatever way that is for you, people will adapt to it. Like I say, everything is not for everybody. If I didn't want to shoot a video over there or shoot a video over there, that's what I want to do. So guess who's in control? Me. <laughs> so it's my show. Right? It's my world. It's my life. And then it'll be your world, your show. But you want to do it in a way that, you know, you're not really, you know, just being uh, offensive to, you know, anybody. But if you do, if you are, you can do that. Because, 
you you have that luxury, and I and I applaud that. I applaud people who can be themselves. Be yourself. Do what you do, because if you don't do what you do in a way that's you know getting the word out, then you'll let that hold you back, right? Because we have a lot of psychological hangups in life. A lot of times, uh, one of our biggest uh, adversaries is is ourselves, right? We we have a a lot of times people have a problem with who they are, and uh, if you if you're that type of person, then you know it's it's going to be hard to identify who you are because sometimes when you see what you see in the mirror, you don't really like what you see in the mirror, right? And I know I'm going off on another direction right quick, but I'm going to be back in a second. But when you put that much emphasis on that part of who you are then that can hold you back from being the best at something else that you want to also express. So you, you got to kind of balance those things out. You know, balance is one of my favorite words in life because I believe you can do anything you want to do as long as you remain balanced. Don't do too much of this. Uh, don't do too little of this, but you know you can do a little bit of this and that. Just balance it out. And if you're able to do that and you're able to pull back, you can... Uh, watch the growth of who you are because you become proud of who you are, you become confident in what you do and uh, that's what the world needs. The world needs to see who you are and what you do on a different level and only you can show that, only you can bring that. Alright, uh, this is another video day for speakwithlarry.com and I thank you for taking the time out of your schedule to watch this short clip because you know I like to keep my videos 10 minutes or less if I can because I'm making so many, one. And two, because, you know, when I get to talking, I'll go here and I'll go there, <laughs> right? So I'll still be able to fit the information in, but I like to talk about certain things. So I don't want to just get too far off uh, schedule, <laughs> if you will. So don't forget to like these videos, share these videos, and don't make me keep having to say that. Should I keep having to say that? I will. <laughs> Speaklarry.com.